This is National 5 Revision. We're looking at uh, quadratics, but uh, specifically around the discriminant and the nature of roots uh, in a quadratic expression. So let's go ahead and do these questions. And there's a couple other quadratic videos that will follow this uh, for some other different uh, uh, topics within the quadratic section. Right, let's go for these. Find the discriminant and the nature of the roots for the following one. So let's do these one at a time. Right, so I've got uh, an expression that's x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0, okay? So to find the discriminant, I'm going to use b squared minus 4ac. So as part of the quadratic formula, inside the root, the square root is b squared minus 4ac. That's the discriminant, and that, allow, that gives us uh, an idea of what the roots are going to be like in a quadratic. Right, let's substitute our values in here. So for this one here, I'm going to write a is equal to 1, because there's a 1 sitting in front there. b is equal to 2, it's a positive 2, and c is equal to negative 5 from there. I'm going to substitute it into the discriminant. I'm going to work that number out, and that will tell me what, uh, I'll, uh, what statement I'll make from there. So 2, so I've got 2 squared for b, take away 4 times a, which is 1, and times c, which is negative 5. So that's going to give me 4. That's going to be a plus, because I've got two negative numbers multiplied together, plus 20. That should give me an answer of 24. Okay? So because that number's positive, what I'll uh, write down. So I'm going to write since b squared minus 4ac, that was the, the thing we're trying to find out, the discriminant. Because that number there is bigger than 0, so it's a positive number, it's greater than 0, what I'm going to write down is that there are two real and distinct roots. There are two real and distinct roots. Okay, so, so that's what I'm going to state for that one there. So basically what that means is that I would get two solutions coming out if I was to try and solve that uh, quadratic. Right, another quadratic here. We've got 2x squared plus 12x plus 18 equals 0. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start the same thing off. We're going to go for b squared minus 4ac. I'll identify what uh, a is. a equals 2. B equals a positive 12, so that's 12, and C is a positive number, that's going to be 18. Right, so I'm going to substitute that into the discriminant. So what we've got is 12 squared minus 4 times 2, which is A, times the C value, which is 18. To work this out, I've got uh, 12 squared is 144, and this here is going to be, so 40 is that 72, 72 times 2 will be 144 as well. So 144 take, 144 away gives me 0. Right, so that's a different situation than we had from, from A. We've got B squared minus 4AC equals 0. So statement, since B squared minus 4AC is actually equal to 0, and for this one here we'll say that there's one repeated real root, okay? There is one repeated, one repeated, and I'll just move this up a wee touch, repeated real root, okay? Um, another thing that I could have stated there would be two equal real roots. That would be another option. So two equal real roots. Okay, is an option that I would have for that one there as well. Okay, so, so that's what I would have if it equals zero. Right, I would have liked this one to equal uh, a negative number. I don't think it does though, but uh, let's work it through and we'll see what we get. A is equal to two, B is equal to eight, and C is equal to one. Okay, I'm going to use the discriminant. So b squared minus 4ac. And you'd be able to pick that up from your uh, from your formula list and just look inside the square root on the quadratic formula. Right, here we go. We're going for 8 squared, because that's what b is. 8 squared, take 4, a, which is 2, and c, which is 1. Uh, that'll give me 64. I'm going to take away from that 8, and that should leave me with 56. So that's a positive number. So that's the same as the, the type of thing we would say for, uh, for a. So since, remember we need to make a statement on this one, since b squared minus 4ac, what we were trying to work out, the discriminant, is greater than zero, 
there are two real and distinct that means two, two real and separate, separate answers I'm going to get out. And these answers are really called roots. So there are two real and distinct roots. OK, so just before we move off this question, just to, to try to clarify things a wee bit for you. So if I'm looking at the answers that I've got there for A, so B squared minus 4AC is greater than 0. So if I had a a quadratic and I drew it as a quadratic graph, I'm not not particularly drawing the one that's up above, then to get two real and distinct roots, the quadratic would need to come down through the x-axis and what I would do is I'd get an answer at two points. Maybe negative answer, maybe a positive answer, but at least two real answers and they're distinct. They're separate, two separate answers. So that's what that graph would possibly look like if I drew it. If I've got one that's uh, equal to zero, the discriminant, so if it equals zero, then what I would expect from that one, and again, I've not drawn it in the uh, exactly the same for, the, for the, uh, the, the quadratic that's shown, what I would get is I would get a quadratic that would come down, it would just catch the line and no more, it would just, just touch the line, and the line, the x-axis here would be a tangent to that line, so just touching it at one point only, but the statement that we would make for this is there is uh, one repeated real root or two equal real roots. So if I did the uh, quadratic formula, I'd get the same solution coming out in both sides of that, whether I added or I subtracted. Okay. So um, for this one here, it would be the same as for A, but uh, if I was to talk about a negative, so for example, and it's a big if, if b squared minus 4ac was a negative number, so that would mean it would be less than zero. The type of thing that I should see on a diagram would be something that would look like this here. Okay, so there's my x-axis, my y-axis. I would get a graph that uh, a graph that would come down, but it certainly wouldn't touch that axis at all. So the roots are really where we cut the x-axis. This doesn't cut the x-axis anywhere, and that would the answer to that one would be no real roots. Okay, but that's not part of the the questions up above. But certainly it's one of the solutions that might come out as uh, one of the questions when you're working with a discriminant and the nature of roots. Remember these graphs here could be uh, up and down the way as well. So it could be that way there. Uh, this one here could be this way there, just touching there. And also this graph could be there. No, no real roots there. Uh, one repeated real root and two real and distinct roots. Hopefully this has helped you a bit with the uh, the quadratic section, and this is really just the quadratic section dealing with the discriminant and the nature of roots.